Alright, this is the last tutorial. Last um, tutorial. Um, you show, I was showing you how to, to paint the weight tools and I couldn't find it for a split second. So, um, what you want to do is make sure you're in uh, 5 mode, not 6. Have your outer skin selected. And again, make sure your, bride, your uh, skeleton is binded to the mesh. And so we'll go to skin, edit, and I'm not sure why I couldn't see that I was doing it. So you can go to paint weight tools and make sure you go to the dialog box. All right. If this does not show up, make sure it does. You can go um, to attribute editor, make that sure it is open. All right. So what this is, is each joint, as you can see, this is the first one we uh, created near the belly button, you can see it kind of drift out. Whatever is on the white is, in, is uh, influencing the mesh. So you can see it going up the neck, 34, about midpoint, and 35. Now you can get a little bit more precise with this. If, you know, if you really want that joint to be the center of the head, we can go to our channel editor and you can see it's joint <coughs> 35. Joint 33, and you can go up and down with your arrow key and you know, select different joints. So joint 51 is that. So let's go back and let's go ahead and get started painting. So I think what I'm going to do is make sure uh, 35 is solid white for the whole entire head. And then these guys, 41, 37, will be white going up. Excuse me. Just go ahead and select it. And we're going to go edit, paint, skin weight tools. And 35. You got to be in the 5 mode. Paint weight tools. Alright, so 36, 35. And what we want to do is make. Whoa, the brush a little bit bigger, but not that big. Yeah, it's still pretty big. All right, let's go ahead and put this 1.3. That's still pretty big. All right, let's do 0.9. All right, so what we want to do is go down on the opacity of this if you want. I'm going to keep it full blown because I want this all white. And if you remember from the last video, when we bent the arm, it was influencing the head. So when we're painting it white, this joint number 35, which is in the middle of the head, will have complete control of the mesh. So when we bend the arms up, it won't influence the head like before. Alright. So we're just spray painting it. Use Alt to spin around. Alt and left mouse. Okay. If you screw up, you can always hit, I think, uh, Shift to go the opposite direction or to negate your painting. Shift actually smooths it. That makes it a little bit smoother. Okay, control will uh, undo your painting. Shift will smooth it. Let me see if we want to smooth it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead go all the way in between here because I want the ears be influenced by the jump, by the rig it's up there. Right, you may want to go up to a smaller brush at this point. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. So we're going to test it. 
best way to test it is at arm. Because we can go up here, the E, and we'll rotate it. And now you notice it's not uh, making the head move around. All right, so let's go four. Use your arrow keys to go jump up on your geometry. Six. All right, so it's got a pretty good bend to it. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this. And then we go five, six, eight. Rotate the ears. Not that bad. It looks. That could be pain a little bit. And let's work on the arms. So you've got an idea of how to do this with the ears. I'm not going to do the ear. Let's do the body. You can see this arm is really deforming the body and the legs and so forth. All right. And let's look at the legs. Go up one. The legs aren't too bad, except it is deforming the back or the rear. All right, so let's go ahead, do another ping. Make sure you're in five mode, not six. And we'll go to skin. Paint ring tools. All right, and let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use um, 30. Now this is the first one going up from the belly button. We could probably paint this whole area white, and that way the arms will control it. So we're going to make a little bit smaller brush. I'm going to do 0 0.45, 45. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. It won't dominate before too much. Earlier, the, the leg was making the rear go in. All right. All right. So we'll make this even smaller. Pretty good. Now I'm going to hold my shift and use that smoothing feature, which looks pretty good. See how rough it is? If you hit shift, kind of make it a bit nicer when this bends, it'll have a more smoother bend to it instead of these harsh lines. Especially on the, oops, especially on the arm. All right, so let's test it out. May or may not work. E. All right, so we still have influence in the feet. All right, but the good thing is that it's not influencing the body oh, a little bit. All right, so we have a little bit more painting to do. Let's do the feet. Um, you can do the neck. There's a joint in the neck. You probably want to paint this all white. Let's go ahead and work on the body. Probably go ahead and rip this off since we're using it a lot. We was good spend a good hour weighting your body. This is a real quick quick one, but we definitely want to spend the time on weighting it. Again, this is not a perfect or professional rig, but it's getting it so you guys know how to paint. 
So we've got 53, 54, 55. So 54 is we want full coverage on that so that the hand will not influence that. You're not getting a full coverage or full, full opacity when you're painting. You may want to go look up here and make, your, make sure your opacity is one um, percent. You can also play around with your values. You can go opposite on this so you can reverse the painting. So you're taking it off. And again, you can hit control to go opposite real briefly. Again, I'm going to use the shift. I kind of like this fading tool. It's kind of a new feature. All right. So let's go over to the other leg. And again, don't, don't forget to save this every five minutes because this is, it is kind of vulnerable to crashing. Especially if you're on a Mac, you get the, the wheel of death. Screwing everything up. All right, so we're no more influence on the on the legs or on the body. So how our feet look. Okay, it's pretty good. Nice. Uh, then here, I like that. Looks good. On the back side, perfect. All right. So. Um, Again, you want to work on the neck. I think the arm was influencing this area of the neck. You want to find that joint. Make sure it's white and you use your shift key to make sure it's nice and smooth so it's not jagged. You want a nice uh, crease. What you really want to do is a nice crease when you bend so it has a nat natural uh, bend like on a human. All right, so I'm going to stop it here. Uh, hopefully that's enough information to get your project finished and good luck.